EA are somewhat giving us free icons to have. What is even happening? If you guys need some FIFA 20 coins that are safe, cheap, and reliable, then make sure you get yourself over to MuleFactory.com and go ahead and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself 5% off your order and build on your ultimate team now and get the best players possible in your team. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERD at the checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title today today i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get your hands on these icon swap tokens well at least the first set of 12 that we've been given last friday so yeah basically today i'm going to explain the best few things you can do to go ahead and complete these challenges obviously they can be quite challenging we're going to actually look at the cards you can get first and then the challenges then i'm going to tell you guys the tips that i would go with to try and complete these challenges so without further ado let's first of all go ahead and take a look at the icons that you can get from this icon set number one let's take a look at them now so these are the available icons you can get from the swaps on your screen now. We have got the likes of an 89 Drogba, 89 Gerrard, we've got Zanetti in there, we've got Keen, Pirlo. There's so, so many good icons you can literally get from this. Like, honestly, just from playing the game, grinding out the game, you can get a free icon pretty much. I mean, like I said, the challenges aren't the easiest, but you can get a free icon just from grinding out the game, which is sick. So, also, I'm going to show you guys the tokens you need to get for the icons, the main icons at least. So, if we go ahead and head over to FIFA, if you go into the SBC screen and head over to the icon swaps on the top bar, as you can see, here are some of the icons. So, the lowest icon that you need tokens for is actually six and that is for peter schmeichel's baby card then if you keep going along the lines you've got eight eight nine for gigs here as well some of the decent ones if we keep going through we've got the likes of michael Balak, who could definitely be a good one if you guys want to see a video on the top 10 icons make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comments i can go ahead and make a video on that and let you guys know which icons i think are the best ones to go with then we've also got pirlo at 14 as well roy Keane at 15 then we've also got the likes of ian right down here as well at 16 tokens rio ferdinand's baby at 85 rated at 16 tokens as well then we've got Zanetti, one of the main ones that a lot of people are saying they're going to go for. The right back that can be end game on this game. You can also go ahead and get a base icon pack for 18 tokens as well. Basically, if you don't know what a base icon pack is, you can get any single base icon, not just the ones in here, literally any single one in that pack. You could get the likes of a Pele, you could get anyone, you could get a Hullet, a Vieira, anything like that in that base icon pack. Then if we go to the last page, we've got the likes of Gerard at 19 tokens. Then we've got both Haggy and Michael Owen at 20 tokens. And then Didier Drogba at 23 tokens. The big boy himself. And the one I was thinking of going for, but I'm not too sure as of yet. So yes, they are the icons available. You can go ahead and get via doing these challenges. Obviously, you get the tokens and you trade them. Just like you did for like foot swaps last year. It's pretty much the exact same thing. You complete the challenges, you get the tokens, you trade them in, and you get your players back. So currently, EA have released, I think, 12 of the tokens of the 24 tokens overall that you can go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the challenges you need to complete to get these tokens and then we'll get into the tips. So if you're wondering where the challenges are, you go over to Foot Central onto the Featured Objectives or the Objectives page. And then basically on the Season Objectives tab, you've got the Icon Swaps Online, you've got the Icon Swaps Single Players, you've got the Icon Swaps Progress as well. These are the three sets that you need to complete to get all 12 tokens from the first half of the tokens. So if you go to the Icon Swaps Online, this, this is one of the sections where most of them are league based. So basically what you need is actually packed players from certain leagues. So you need players from the Liga and the Syria, the La Liga, the Bundesliga and also the Premier League which I've already completed myself. So yeah basically you need seven first own players from each of them and a way you can obviously get first own players is obviously opening up normal packs obviously from rewards as well and also if you go ahead and do something like the gold upgrade packs go ahead buy a load of cheap non-rares chuck them back into the gold upgrades get some players back to then go ahead and complete the challenges for that as well. So yes basically all the league challenges are the exact same you've got to win three rivals matches using seven first own players from the specific league that it tells you so like I said Liga and Serie A, La Liga etc. So obviously your full team doesn't have to be directly from that league but that's basically what you got to do. And also, they've got the Foot Champions Challenge here where you got to win nine Foot Champions matches. You've got the Golden Rivals where you have to win three rival matches with a max squad overall rating of 83. And that is that section done. Then we've also got the likes of a Squad Battles one where you've got to go ahead and complete Squad Battles challenges. The first one being Golden Battles where you have to win six Squad Battle matches on minimum world-class difficulty using a team that is maximum rating of 83. Obviously, if you want to do something like that, you can literally just bronze bench to bring the rating down and use some of your better players still. So on to the second one on the MLS Challenge. You've got to win five Squad Battle matches on minimum World class difficulty using 11 MLS players in your starting squad. So literally any MLS players, you can go ahead and complete the Nuvea SBC and stuff like that. And then obviously use all the other MLS players that are available on the market. On to now the third SBC, we've got the Eredivisie SBC. You've got to do the exact same once again, where you've got to win five squad battle matches and use 11 Eredivisie players in your starting squad. And then last but not least for the squad building challenge, it is once again another league, which is a Chinese Super League, where you've got to win five squad battle matches on minimum world class difficulty using 11 of the Chinese Super League players in your 
starting squad. So yeah, there are all the um, squad battle challenges. I think EA are trying to push the squad battles a lot this year, so they're going to do a lot of squad battle challenges. What you need to go ahead and complete to go ahead and get some of these players, and then obviously probably for the ones that are released in the future down the line. But yeah, there are the icon swap squad battle single player challenges you need to complete for these as well. And then you've got the progress ones where you've got score 20 goals for first own players and play 20 matches in foot using at least one first own player in your starting squad. So yeah, them two are just ones to complete over time. But anyways, now on to the tips for completing these. So the first couple of tips I'm going to tell you are just some basic things. Tip number one, before we even get into any formations or anything like that, tip number one is to actually go ahead and relegate yourself in divisions. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. You go into a game, you quit, and obviously you go ahead and lose points. Just in case you don't know how to do this, you go obviously into division rivals, and obviously you go ahead and find a session and get yourself in a game. And as you can see here, people are still using normal teams, so it makes the challenge even harder. And then as soon as you get to this screen here where you're able to pause it, let's just pause the game and then go straight down to forfeit match. In case your opponent is doing it as well, go ahead and forfeit the game. And then it will take you back to the menu as you'll be able to see here. And as you can see here, we will get ourselves minus 28 points. I think it can be different every game. I'm not too sure if it's always minus 28 or if it's minus 30 or anything different any other games. But as you can see, our weekly score has gone down. And the more we do that, obviously, the further we go down and into lower divisions. If you don't know how many more points you need to get rid of to go down in a division, all you need to do is go over to the weekly reward rankings and then click our one or RB over to the division page and as you can see here if I go below 1250 I believe I will go then back into division 4 so it can take a lot of time but it is a lot easier if you go down in another division to face easier opponents so yeah it's pretty basic you literally go into a game you leave the game you get the minus points on your skill rating and you can go down divisions and then obviously face easier opponents tip 2 like I said earlier is to get some of these plays for the first owners is completing the gold upgrade packs pretty simple obviously you go ahead and chuck in a whole gold team and it can literally be 75 rated it doesn't matter on the rating I mean I think it's like 30 or 40 chemistry and then you get yourself back a two red gold player pack back which where hopefully you can get players back for the leagues that you need to use to show you an example of the gold upgrades literally if you don't know where they are as well you go to squad building challenges you go all the way down to the upgrades over here and as you can see here here is the gold upgrade and literally to make it even so simple you can go to use squad builder click the select or pause button on your controller go low to high rating change the quality to gold then click triangle or y and it will go ahead and build your squad with the lowest rated players in your team or your club sorry as you can see here, obviously I'm not going to use that inform, so I can just quickly switch him out. There's someone else on the bench, like so, and then we go ahead and submit, and we get ourselves a two red gold players pack. Like I said, you might not get the exact league you need, but it's always a good way to go ahead and recycle your players in your club if you've got a lot of players that you don't need. And then if we go ahead and just open up the pack now, let's see what we manage to get in this pack. Can we get anything good for one of the leagues? It'd be pretty sick if we get someone in one of the leagues. Hopefully we will. You've got a good chance of getting someone in one of these leagues. We can actually get a boards, which is not bad. Um, so it's an 83 to an 85. Who do we get? Brazilian. We get centre forward. And and we do get Lucas Moura. So there we go. There's a Premier League player we can then use in the challenge. A first owner. And it's just as simple as that to get players in your club. To get the first owner players. So you can complete the challenge. And actually make that two Premier League players. Even better. So yeah. There are definitely a couple of tips I'll take on board. Especially if you are struggling in your current division. Obviously you can get back into the division you're in after the challenges. But relegate yourself in the time being. Just to complete the challenges. And you should be all good. So yes. Anyways. They are the two tips. Now. On to a formation. Some of the formations that I think are best to use for each of these leagues for the challenges. So, going into a squad screen, finding a good formation. Personally, I think it's better to have your first owner players as the players that you don't really care as much about or aren't the better players in the squad. So, the positions are such as the left back and right back, which I think are less kind of important than, like, say, uh, as two strikers to get you the goals. Then you've also got left mid, right mid, who you can sub on as well. And then the two central players that I'm going to show you what positions are going to be in this formation. So, the formation I would rock out for this challenge is the 4-2-3-1 bracket 2. This then means you can go ahead and use a left back and right back that aren't the best as a first zone player if you haven't got good players if you haven't got good first owner players and then you've got two cdms you literally just put someone with a bit of patience there that can defend and they'll be all good if you've got first owner ones of them left mid right mid definitely as well then you can sub them back on then you can actually use your subs to switch them out as well and then either a goalkeeper or a cam which you can also sub out as well however if you do have good first owner players from that league obviously put them in a the team and you can replace one of the other positions that I've already said, and then switch them out for a player that's better or someone you already have in your club as well. So yeah, that should definitely make it easier. Obviously, like I said, you use the positions that you think aren't as effective as your first owner players, and you can get the better players in the other positions to build the rest of your team as well. Also, another thing you could do whilst you're in your games is you could actually quit, say, if you're 2-0 down or something like that. Obviously, that then brings your points down as well, and hopefully find easier opponents, and also gets you quicker through the challenges if you guys want to get them done quick. But obviously, you've got some time to complete these challenges. I'm pretty sure it's by the end of the season, you got to complete these four and the season ends in 24 days and one hour so you literally got plenty of time to complete these challenges so yeah boys anyways hopefully this video has helped you guys out to go ahead 
mode and complete the icon swap challenges a lot easier. I mean, definitely the relegation is definitely something to do with. Obviously, you've got to get the first owner players, so gold upgrades are definitely, I think, key for this challenge. And obviously, your rewards through midweek, etc. Maybe you take the untradeable options now if you take the tradable options or the coin options. But yeah, hopefully, this video has helped you guys out. Please like, comment, and subscribe if it did. Let me know in the comments what icon you guys are going for. Like I said earlier, if you'd like me to rank the top 10 icons, I would go for make sure you let me know that in the comments as well but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time goodbye